this mission? I'm tired of those. Whatever. Fuck me! I don't want to spend half my day fighting those stupid idiots. <laughs> I thought I was going exactly the wrong way. Fucking finally.
obnoxious coat of slime on everything is the least of our worries. Coming in here was such a bad idea. Why am I killing the queen? To be honest, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill her.
who gives a shit out that thing called points? Try to be more careful. Try to be more useful. Nah, no, no. <laughs> Let's be honest. She is myself from one set of fastballs and another one appears. I think my approach is going to make it impossible for me to finish this playthrough. I will be under leveled, I think, by the end. Pretty certain of that.
displaying all authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed. Yeah, because I, I don't know, I, don't, I just don't feel like exploring it. Is there respawning enemies? That's what that's I mean, any game that has respawning enemies. That's the truth. I just hate that. Same with Dead Island. It makes exploring an endless grinding. The same thing. And I don't like to grind. And I do love to explore. At least in Amalur, the respawning was not that frequent, I would say. You want to be on top, gonna need the skills. Come back, you might learn something. Okay, that I think she's working for someone else, obviously. They are hinting that very heavily. You're alive. Magnificent. Frantic reports of colicoid attacks are pouring in from all over the planet. I've included a generous bonus with your payment. Colonel Sartius is going absolutely insane. <laughs> <laughs> Once Sartius is removed from his position, Admiral Ivanus will certainly consider my application for a promotion. It's a flawless plan. Don't you agree? Do I look like someone who knows how to impress admirals? Well, I am the most qualified. The admiral is a very intelligent man. My application will speak for itself. But what if it doesn't? What if it doesn't? Bounty Hunter, though clearly unlearned in these things, you do know how to hunt any prey. Tell me how to approach the Admiral. Talk to him like the job's already yours. Interesting. Don't simply offer my name up to the Admiral as a choice to replace Colonel Sartius. Make myself the choice. If things got bad enough here, Admiral Ivanus would want to conduct another inspection. That could be my opportunity to meet and impress him. I need one final brilliant maneuver to arrange my face-to-face -face meeting with Admiral Ivanus. And I know just what to do. Reports indicate that the Republic forces that stayed on Balmora after we invaded are training resistant fighters at the Balmoran Arms Factory. Why doesn't the Empire just finish off the Republic forever? If only. There are complications because of their dug-in position and because, of course, of the Colonel's complete incompetence. The Colonel has learned of a secret rendezvous between the Resistance leaders and several off-world allies. His spies planted a homing beacon aboard the Resistance leaders' command shuttle. You're going to remove that beacon. Will there be plenty for me to blast? The Resistance stronghold where the shuttle is kept is heavily fortified. I'm sure you'll find it highly stimulating. You will move the beacon from the shuttle to a garbage transport. The Colonel will swoop in with his warships to find nothing but garbage sifting Ugnaughts. The shuttle is in the spaceport at the fortified Balmoran Arms Factory. Be cautious. What game is she playing? It's my... <sighs> my question...
Why garbage? Uh, it's so much... There is a much better opportunity here to make him look like a f complete fool. Whatever. Or make him get killed, that would be the best. Lure him into some sort of heavily fortified position. Be stupid not to know. They have a planet the scanners. What would he be? Well? All authorized destinations. Now there is a good reason. Travel route that. is confirmed. Let's see how this works. Mm, Roads. Help me, you there? Yes, you, please. My comrade took severe damage while engaging the enemy. Please, we have to repair him. Do not waste the time of an organic. The damage to my motivator exceeds reasonable repair. Continue our assigned task alone. I cannot just leave you out here. I will return you to headquarters fully operational, brother. I have to. I didn't realize that droids could have such strong emotions. This is my counterpart, my comrade. I cannot just leave him in this war zone to face destruction alone. I have to save him. Unit B6NX carries experimental emotional programming, which may be the cause of his current malfunction. Camaraderie and compassion increase <laughs> unit cohesion, thereby increasing combat effectiveness by a factor of five. The observed result is that your programming prevents you from ignoring my damage and carrying out mission priorities. A clear flaw. Don't listen to him. This single-use pass card will open a hidden supply locker in the nearby junkyard. You can retrieve a new motivator and we can repair my comrade. Using our assigned pass card in order to repair me is a waste, 6NX. If the organics wish to help, 
They should use the card to retrieve a data spike to counteract your flawed emotional programming. Couldn't I find a new motivator and a data spike and fix you both? Data spikes and motivators are stored separately, and the card will only open one secured case. I am incapable of engaging enemy soldiers, whereas Unit B6NX only chooses not to. <laughs> Repairing his faulty programming is the most expedient solution. Engaging those resistance fighters would have subjected you to further risk of damage. I couldn't take that chance. Please. Take this card and retrieve the motivator to repair my friend. Please, I can even reward your help. I know the location of another supply cache, one that isn't locked. Its contents will surely be useful to you. Bribery. Refusal to carry out <laughs> programmed directives. My counterpart's malfunctions are obvious. Please retrieve a data spike to correct him. Your counterpart definitely needs to be reprogrammed. Where can I find what we need? You should be able to find the necessary data spike in the nearby junkyard. Use the pass card that 6NX gave you to retrieve it from its locked case. But my comrade, he needs help. He needs a motivator. He needs to destroy, that's what he needs. Hunter, you're that mercenary all the troops have been talking about. Got orders from the planetary governor to find you. You're needed at this war conference, Priority Alpha One. Really? I don't remember telling the Balmoran governor about my business. Empire appoints you to run this planet. You keep track of who's slaughtering the resistance. The Dark Council sent an emissary big-time Sith Lord to personally review the status of the Balmoran occupation. This conference will determine the next stage of the ground campaign. Whole war's about to be decided, and the governor wants your expertise. This emissary of the Dark Council, what do we know about him? Sith politics aren't my business. One of Darth Maul's servants is what I hear, but don't know anything else. Assigning black level clearance. No one will cause you trouble. Be quick, though. They're starting any minute. Okay, we're moving up. The food tree. Heroic plus four. Okay. What I do with those?
Do you know the worst part, Governor? I didn't. I, I didn't. Exactly. You didn't even own up to your mistakes. That's why the Dark Council gave this planet to me. Please. Watch and enjoy. <laughs> I am Darth Lacris, and I'm here to cleanse Valmora. They say you're the best, Bounty Hunter. You're wasted working for those incompetents in Sobrick. They may be incompetent, but the work pays dividends. I'm sure it does. You're here because I asked the Governor to bring me his best. Valmora has a problem. My friends of the Resistance, I won't take much time. The Empire says it owns Balmora. The Republic says it's yours. We're gone. But you and I know Balmora's one with sweat and tears. And my boys will stand by your side until everyone knows it. Grand Marshal Jaqueta, formerly of the Republic Army. Officially, he and his troops went rogue after the Republic withdrew from this sector. Ever since, they've been holed up under siege, aiding the Resistance and fortifying their position. You may have met their scouting parties already. Is there anyone on Balmora who isn't fighting the Empire? Now you understand my displeasure with the previous administration. Jaqueta and the Resistance are based in the Balmoran Arms Factory, home of the brightest engineers in the galaxy. I'm told the factory's generators are inexhaustible, its defenses cutting edge, its barricades block our scans, giving the Resistance peace and privacy. We can't hurt them, but they can't hurt us while they're contained in there. And what if they stop being contained? Jaqueta may have officially gone rogue, but the Republic still supports him. They fund his revolution from the shadows, make supply drops in secret. Those Republic hypocrites want the arms factory as a beachhead. And as Balmora's new governor, I say we take it before they mount a full invasion. If the Republic invades Balmora, they'll be violating the peace with the Empire. And if they act through mercenaries, a foreign government, they'll hide their involvement. But it'll be an invasion just the same. Obliterate the factory defenses. Lower the barricades that block our scans, and I'll have an army at your back. And if you can, bring me proof of Republic involvement on Balmora. We'll expose their lies on a galactic stage. Why not? The Balmoran arms factory awaits your touch. I think I'm going to leave it here for the moment because my GPU is not doing what it should which is giving me 60 frames per second so I need to figure out a way to ensure that happens so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time when we shall go to the factory until then long live the empire Goodbye.